Hi, this is a review screencast of my Sandbox module, Omega Responsive Menu. Uh, I developed it for Omega 3 sites. It is actually theme agnostic, minus a few changes in how you install it, but I will be demoing it on Omega 3. Uh, I developed this because the main menu in Drupal won't show any sublinks, and Omega doesn't really provide a responsive menu out of the box, so this will allow you in mobile to have a toggle drop down, but then also once you break into default styling with the grid, provide you with a drop down that you can style. I wanted a vanilla drop down menu. I felt that Superfish and Mega menu provided way too much styling out of the box and I did not like the JavaScript that caused all the rendering. So I built my own that's a lot simpler and can make implementing responsive menu and drop downs much faster. So I've set up a local install with Omega 3. I already went ahead and generated a menu of 50 links. So as you see, we've got our awesome warm Ipsum and no drop downs. We just have the base menu. So let's actually look at that menu. And as you can see, we're only seeing these top level ones, but none of this actual structure that is making up our menu. And that's what this module is going to help solve. So let's go over to modules and enable it quick. Unfortunately, this is not the only step to turning this on. So let's first enable so that Drupal can access the functions it provides. In order to utilize this module, you will have to make edits to your theme. It doesn't provide a block. Um, I can make it provide a block. That's something that I plan on doing soon, but I have this set up in one of our sub-themes that we use for every site. Okay, so the module's enabled. I'm just going to go to the home page quick. So you see nothing's changed. So now you want to head over to your code. And I've already generated a sub-theme for Omega. Now what you have to do is navigate to Omega, and then Omega, and go to Templates. Omega 3 out of the box has templates for a region menu. If you open this, you'll see that if main menu or secondary menu, it prints the main menu links and the secondary links. So go ahead and copy region menu, and then go to your child theme, enter its templates folder, and paste that so that we can override it with our child themes template. So now go to, your, to the module, and in the README, I have instructions. So we did step one, copy the region menu, hide slash delete, the theme links main menu. I just say hide slash delete because what if you want to go back? So I usually just comment it out right there, and then replace with omega responsive main menu main menu. So let's go in here, paste it. So it's kind of like a theme function. It will print out the HTML for you. If anybody has issues with that, I can rework the menu so that you have to declare print and it spits out what it has to. I just figured this is simple and straightforward. So go ahead and save your file. And then we're going to have to flush the cache since Drupal didn't know that we had that template file in our child theme. So by flushing the cache, Drupal's going to check everything and say, hey, the sub theme is now taking control of region menu. So let's just wait for that real quick. Okay, so it doesn't look like much has changed. Now, let me hover over it. Let me turn off. There is no styling that comes with this beyond the fact that in response besides setting up the responsive menu and then telling the drop down's position absolute right there so that way you have full control over how your sub menus operate you don't have to overwrite any css if you want to add animations i am utilizing max height 0 to max height 700 pixels so that you can provide css3 animations and you'll see that now you have your drop downs um, if you go to the second tier or the third tier you're going to have to you know style how those drop downs pop out to the right or the left or whatnot, but that's all up to you and how you want to style it. You don't have any predefined styling to get in your way. 
And so the other highlight, besides providing drop-down menus, is that it's responsive. So when you get to like a the mobile off the grid, you can click this menu and it will toggle. This is inspired by Omega Kickstart through the Kick Commerce Kickstart theme or profile rather. So now toggle it will display your whole menu. And to see it in a production, this is actually a site we just launched. It's not using drop downs, but as soon as we get into mobile, you can toggle their theme. Another site using a column structure, this is using the same module. Um, we utilize CSS to build out these columns and organizing them, so this is another thing you can do. And again, mobile. A little bit of different styling. We chose to oh, oh. we chose to hide the submenus so that you have to click through to a top level navigation, just because that could get very long. And as I had said, by dropping in the term Omega, it's actually theme theme agnostic. So let's switch over to Bartek and we can actually implement it. It's just if you do set that you may want to modify some of the settings because it is targeting as if it was an Omega I have not gone through and cleaned it up to be completely theme agnostic yet so again we don't have our drop downs it's dropping in the, J the JavaScript because the module is enabled but it's not functioning properly so let's go back to our code and for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to copy this and open Bartik directly and just make the change. So we'll open the page.tpl.php and then here's where it calls the main menu. I'm just going to click delete that and we'll drop this in. So if I refresh, we now have drop downs in Bartik and a responsive menu. As I said, there are issues with it being theme agnostic. Like it's adding two right here and it's bumping the styling up, so it does need some work to be completely theme agnostic, but the idea is there and is one thing that I would like to work on to help people build Drupal sites that are responsive and provide drop downs and just cuts down your theming time due to complications with Superfish or Mega Menu. If you have any feedback or ideas leave a comment on YouTube or please visit my module sandbox page and open an issue and I would love to make this a module that is very useful for theme developers and I will be putting this link in the video description. Thanks.